Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to another Brighton shirt review. Now for you that didn't know, Brighton released a new home shirt on uh, last Saturday, or sun yeah, Sunday wasn't it, the pre in the Premier League uh, last week. So we played Burnley, just in case you didn't know, and Brighton wore their new kit for the 2021 season. So I thought... Consider I've done it two years in, in a row, I'll do a third year of the shirt review. I've literally got one with me right here, so we're going to go through it, see what I think, put your opinions down on it as well, because I have seen on social media that a lot of people have got mixed opinions on it, so anyways, let's get straight on, let's get straight into this video, so guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first signs of the shirt is, I don't know how well you can see, there are white stripes in it, only very little though, um, a lot of people have said that it's like an 83 uh, shirt, which in one way it is, um, I really do like the inside of the collar, uh, see the yellow, see the BHAFC there as well. I think this is our fourth year of Nike. Um, the gold down the side as well. Uh, let's see if I can just grab a bit. Down there, it's down the side, and what it will do for the new campaign is lead into the shorts. But uh, I know there's been a lot of mixed reviews about it. Um, when I first saw it, you may remember that. The first couple of tops, I didn't really have a split opinion on it, especially the first year in the Premier League away top. Another away top will be coming up on this channel as well, and I will, will review it. But it feels very comfortable. Um, I'm sure imagine it's got the same sort of engineering in that last top ad, where the players something to do with their uh, sweat. But the American Express as well just realised that it's um, that sort of funny stuff where it feels like it anyway. But, so we do look like we're back to sort of the funny stuff. Uh, obviously you've got the Brighton badge there. I have actually got last season's away top on as I'm recording this. The yellow tick, I think this one's yellow as well. Here it is. I really do think this is a really nice top. Uh, how would I rate it? I'm gonna put it on first and then I'll give you my rating and tell you how it feels. So let's get it on. So here I am with the new Brighton 2021 season playing shirt. It feels pretty comfortable. Um, if I had to choose between the two, this is probably more slightly comfortable. Obviously, we have signed Adam Lazana and my video about his stats will pop up at the end of this video. But right in it, I like the white arm and sleeve as well. I find that quite a nice touch by Nike. Uh, would I do anything different if I worked for Nike? I'll probably make the white straps just a little bit bigger. Uh, but it's going to be so, slightly interesting to get your opinions on it. I know this has had mixed opinions already. Uh, but please let me know if you have all the one and what you think of it as well, uh, you know, it's only what, less than six weeks away I think before we get the campaign back on the way. So, but yeah, very mixed. I said, now I've actually got it on and looking around it, I've sort of got the, perhaps one blue, one white, let me know what you think of that, I have one uh, sleeve on the arm, white, and the other one blue, I think that would have been quite a nice touch, but I might have did something like that. But I can sort of see what people mean by it's not a proper Brighton top, especially these days where we have the big white stripes. As I've said, a lot of people look like the 83 season shirt, which is, is fair enough, it's not too far away from it. But I do think people like Nike do run out of ideas, same as any company, same as Adidas or Umbra or. But. If I had to rate it, I'd probably give it about a six or seven. 
you know, that's probably as hard as I'll go. The worst I'll give it is probably about a four. But, you know, you got, I'll keep looking at these white stripes and just think I could have made them a slightly bit bigger. But, you know, it's going to take time to grow on us. But um, as, anyway, as I said, I, I will review, review uh, the 2021 top as soon as Brighton release it, as soon as I pre-order it. But here is a new home shirt for Brighton for the 2020-2021 season. Obviously, we've still got loads to look forward to. We've got the away strip to look forward to. We've got our fixtures released. They've still got to be released. You know, and it all be getting back underway on September the 12th. Hopefully at the MX. And hopefully with some spectators. But going to have to wait and see. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Comment down below what you think about this stuff. I know I've said it more than once. But I really am interested to get your opinion on it you know have you pre-ordered one have you not i know some people that have not pre-ordered one so let me know if you pre-ordered one as well let me know what you think down in the comments below but anyway guys i'm going to bring this video to an end guys you know what to do subscribe for more because it's a big platform that you enjoy it thanks for watching ciao for now